friends. It's me, Z, and I'm here to bring you a little bit of news. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about some breaking news that just kind of popped up about Ray Fisher. Uh, you may know him as Cyborg in the Justice League. And as the new Snyder Cut is about to come out, there's been some more news around him. But before we go and do that, if you could just give us a like and subscribe, as that would greatly help the channel. We would really appreciate that. And let's go to the article here. We have an article. Justice League star Ray Fisher says he won't participate in any production involving DC Films heads. The head he is speaking about is Walter Hamada. Now we're going to get to his tweets. And uh, it seems like he's announcing the end of him being a uh, cyborg. Now what we what we see here is there was a... Uh, there's a New York Times piece uh, where they Walter Hamada was kind of debuting exactly what would go on and what the future looks like. And the, let's catch everybody up here. There was some misconduct that Fisher was alleging during the shooting or reshooting of Justice League. And uh, this caused him to accuse Joss Whedon of you know, being kind of a scumbag on set. Now, uh, some of the allegations and the reasons why I took this Entertainment Weekly article, because there are several articles around this, are some of the, the actual allegations that he gets to here. Uh, if we go back, he says, let's go to here. When he was speaking about the investigation, he alleged that Whedon exhibited gross, abusive, and completely unacceptable behavior during the making of, the, of Justice League. Now, this was tied into... Um, Jason Momoa showed his support. He agreed with the investigation. And more recently, Gal Gadot actually spoke about this and said that she found the Justice League shoot to be uncomfortable, that there were some things about it that she didn't like. Now, no one's alleged anything really specific, but the reason why I picked this article was because it did seem to point out one thing in particular. There's an allegation that Whedon, right here, tried to digitally alter the skin tone of an actor of color in the movie. Now, I don't know if he's talking about himself, but I think that's fascinating. You know, there was nothing super specific, and one of the reasons why people were referring to Cyborg as Cryborg was because they were saying he was just crying over not being treated right, and there was all these different things where he didn't really, you know, there was nothing specific. So what he, he now alleges is that he will not work with Walter Hamada. And what he says, his quote here, and we'll read his tweet as well, is that Walter Hamada chose to insert himself in this situation by trying to throw Joss Whedon and John Berg under the bus to protect Jeff Johns. Jeff Johns, who is uh, was also one of the writers of Wonder Woman 1984, is, is seems to be part of this. And what they're saying... And let's go back here because his comments are a little convoluted. But he says in his tweet, uh, Walter Hamada is the most dangerous kind of enabler. His lies and WB, Warner Brothers, PR's failed September 4th hit piece sought to undermine the very real issues of the Justice League investigation. I will not participate in any production associated with him. Now, what that also includes is... You have to think about his future. Uh, Ray Fisher was set to star in a cyborg exclusive film where it was going to be a standalone cyborg film. There was also supposed to be a flash film that's in production. Uh, that flash film has had some problems, not only with production, but the star of it itself. Uh, we remember he may have choked some woman or may not. Apparently, it's still going forward, and they've lost a couple directors. Currently, they are on Andy Muschietti who directed it. Now, Cyborg was supposed to make a cameo appearance in that movie. It seems like that is no longer happening, and we're not going to see him there. So that'll be very interesting. I mean, it looks like Ray Fisher is going to be done with Warner Brothers and um, Warner Media. Like, I don't see how he can possibly continue his career here. I think that this guy's in, uh, in, 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 you know, this is a big issue for him and I don't see how he recovers now one of the things that I, I find that's been a little strange for for some of this if, if we look at it from a different perspective a little bit you have Daisy Ridley on one side saying you know she didn't really enjoy her Star Wars experience 
and now there's rumors being leaked about her being difficult to work with on the latest set of the movie that she did with um, uh, I forget what the name of the movie is we could look it up but uh, essentially she's being called difficult to work with and I, I find it very um, it, it's very it, you see you, you have him here Ray Fisher and he's doing the same thing where he's throwing the studio under the bus and saying that the head of the studio is not going to you know is basically enabling poor behavior and all these other things so now you have these two actors who are in these giant franchises and it's a real struggle for them and I, I just I find it very difficult to understand why they think that that's a good idea yeah it she's being labeled as uh intimidating and quite aggressive on the set of her latest movie the latest movie is being filmed it's called chaos walking i think it actually just got finished recording and uh they don't say who said it but it seems like that's kind of a hit piece out there on her and she's complained recently that she didn't enjoy working on star wars and that she won't come back and that she's had a real real difficulty um, getting work after that uh, that chaos walking movie is also starring Tom Holland Nick Jonas Mads Mikkelsen so there's something to it I, I don't understand these actors like I, I guess they're trying to stand up for themselves but this is the hypocrisy of Hollywood they're going to crush you they're going to destroy your career I just feel I feel a little on one side I feel like you know are they being crybabies and then on the other side I'm a little torn because they are genuinely being uh, railroaded on some level where they may have serious grievances and they're not being looked at and you know it's weird you get tied to these giant corporations like Disney and Warner Brothers and you, you get these big roles you may have been a struggling actor and now you've made some money you could be a millionaire and all of a sudden you're looking for work you, you can't get work anymore so more on these stories we'll, we'll come back I just felt like this was a good article to talk about it shed a little bit of light on what's going on especially with some of the, the excitement being built on the Snyder Cut coming out and I'm excited for it I'm excited to see Ray Fisher in it because he has an expanded role they definitely expanded the cyborg role I know that uh, on one side he was saying that he thought he had more creative input especially when he was working with um Zack Slater, but then once Joss Whedon get, came in, they cut the movie down and they cut out his role substantially. We all know that the runtime was limited to two hours, so there was a lot cut out of it. And obviously, with the Snyder cut coming out, um, in, in fact, I'm pretty sure that Ray Fisher said that was only one scene that carried over from the original cut that he filmed and what showed up in the Snyder cut versus the Joss Whedon cut of Justice League. So a lot on this and more. Uh, thanks so much for listening, guys. I hope you have a happy and safe new year. And uh, more from us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You. Be sure to check out our podcast. The podcast goes out every single week. We usually re release it on Sunday nights. And you can get it on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those fantastic places. And be sure to tune to us live as we stream it as well on YouTube, typically on Friday nights, 730 Eastern Standard. So from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You, to all of y'all at home, we love y'all and on to the next one.